Hello, I'm Nicola McCarthy. It's Thursday, the 1st of May. Welcome to City Today. This weekend's game against Everton is just around the corner now. It's the first of three must-win games for the Blues if we are to win the title next Sunday. And we've been catching up with Pablo Zabaleta and Fernandinho to get their thoughts on Saturday's clash. Yes, I think it's um, a huge game. We know that's uh, always been very difficult for us to play Everton away. Um, it's a great, great stadium to play, great atmosphere there. But we know that uh, it's we had three games left to go to the end, and we know how important it is to start on winning on on Saturday. We're gonna try to do it. Because our target, we cannot play now, and we we're waiting a long time for for arriving in that moment. And now the concentration of the, the group is very very high, and uh, I hope we, each game we can do better and better, better than other the last one. And uh, we wait what happened at the end of the season. But uh, we must we must take we must be aware about about Everton. I think they've been playing an outstanding uh, football this season. Roberto Martinez is doing a great job at his first season at Everton. So um, it's going to be a very tough game. But uh, I think if I'm 100% sure if we play in our best, we have a lot of chance to, to win the game. MCWFC travel to Doncaster tonight for their Continental Cup opener and manager Nick Cushing is anticipating a tough test against the Yorkshire side. We'll prepare for this game like we would any game. We'll, we'll, we'll look at them, we'll look at us in our previous game and we'll, you know, we'll put the, the plan together. And This will be a, just a normal game for us, we wouldn't prepare any different. We'll, we'll want to win but we'll expect it to be a, a tough challenge. The football industry's leading business event, the Soccer X Global Convention, is to be held in Manchester in September. The news was announced here at the Etihad Stadium today, where city legend Mike Summerby and former Manchester United striker Louis Saha were both in attendance. It was also revealed that BT City Square will host the Soccer X Football Festival between the 6th and 7th of September, which will include a Legends tournament featuring some top former players from around the globe. Well, the shortlist for Player of the Month has been revealed and two players keep their place on the list from March. Last month's winner David Silva and March nominee Martin Di Michelis are both back in contention for the crown, along with Pablo Zavaleta. Keep your eye on the official website and on our Facebook page for details on how to vote. That's all from us today. We'll be back tomorrow. See you then.